Do you have the seals for me? I do. More seals and more proof what we're doing is working. Thankfully, there are at least some people in power willing to listen to me. I'll leave the politics to you. As it should be. And I have more work for you, assuming you're up for it. I'm always interested in more work. I was worried about employing a mercenary, but you've been a pleasant surprise. Yes, that's what they all call me. A pleasant surprise. I suspect if they call you anything offensive, they don't live long. I couldn't say. At least I have you working with me, instead of getting in my way. Are the generals giving you trouble? <sighs> they refuse to acknowledge I know what I'm doing. But it doesn't matter. I'll get the job done, and eventually all of Athens will know it. Are you ready for more work? I'll get you your seals. Thank you. First, I have some questions. Who does a general like you look up to? You know who was a true hero? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Odysseus. He used his wits to triumph. Wily Odysseus, they call him. Without him, the Trojan War would have been lost. And the other generals understood that. What do you think your future holds? Victory or death. You don't stay a general for long if you don't win battles. I suppose many generals die on the field. Not the majority. The Athenian people are the greatest threat to a general's life. If you displease them, they'll remove you from office, ostracize you, or even condemn you to death. And you want this job? There is no greater purpose than the glory of Athens. It's my duty and my honor. Why is it I always find you here? Athena is the goddess of wisdom and war. What better place for a general to ask for blessings? You don't seem very devout to me. I'm not the first general in my family. My father was as well, and his father before him. You would have learned military thinking from a young age. Exactly. My grandfather brought me here when I was a child. He stood me here and told me Athena was our patron. That we must always offer her our respect on the eve of war. He sounds like a wise man. He was. He died in battle the next day. You come here to remember him? And to remember that though the gods may be our patrons, they will not always protect us. I know enough.
Beast Slayer, I'm glad to see you again. The pelt from Callisto the Bear. I wish I'd had the chance to see this creature in the wild. It must have been stunning. It was. But there are other things on this earth far more beautiful. And wild? 
If not, then where would the challenge be in pursuing it? your luck? Have I got a solution for you? What's all this about? It's about adventure, thrills, danger, and untold fortunes. I love a good adventure. If you've got the drachmi and the time, I've got a once-in-a-lifetime adventure just for you. Tell me more. Secrecy is key, Mystios. We can't just have anyone knowing there's a fortune to be found. But first, everything has a price. Pay up, and I'll give you a tablet with everything you need to know. Here you go. Excellent. Here you go. This tablet will lead you directly to untold riches. What? Just tell me where... The tablet reveals all. What does that even mean? Just look at the tablet and follow the directions, Mystios. My work here is done. Off the east coast of Kithira, on Veakofti Island, your reward awaits. Down on your luck? Have I got a solution for you? may be strong and, 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 and quite hurtful, but my devotion to the god Empedocles is stronger. Your false god, this Empedocles, is delusional. What seems to be the problem? Empedocles be praised, Amistheus! I've done nothing wrong, yet these priestesses mean me harm. Please, my god is powerful and rich! His god is a Malacca, a blasphemous blight on Aphrodite's hallowed soil. This is a matter for priestesses alone. You said rich? Indeed. Empedocles rewards those who come to his call. Th these priestesses have imprisoned him in the fort. He's a god. He deserves worship. You're threatened by a mob, but you want me to save him, not you. Sounds like quite the god. Only Embedoglis can lead us to his brothers and sisters on Mount Olympus. He's far more important than any one man. Surely you cannot be considering helping these lunatics. You would oppose the will of Aphrodite. If these priestesses speak for Aphrodite, then I speak for all three slobbering heads of Cerberus. Time to go save a god, apparently. Do as you will, Mistios. But even you cannot be everywhere at once. I'll be fine. Is there anything else you need to know? Where can I find this god of yours? They have him locked in a cage in Scandia Bay with the livestock. This would be shameful for any regular god, and more so for a vegetarian god. Does he stand out in any way? There may be more than one prisoner. The guards stripped him naked. <laughs> and when you are confronted with his gift, Embedoglis' godly nature will be hard to deny. His gift? Let's just say you'll know it when you see it. I know all I need. Your Embedoglis will be freed. Do not worry for my safety, Mistios. It is Embedoglis who needs your help. <laughs> He's over there.
There's the Murex fort. By the gods! Get out of the way! I need to stay hidden. Feeble humans. I, the great Empedocles, cannot be caged. Wow. Worship me. And I offer you an audience with the gods. Put down your blades. I offer those who follow me an audience with my brothers and sisters. The gods. gods cannot lead. So, so you best put down your blades. Do not stab my godly groin. Look upon my form, mortals. Regard my godly gifts and know the truth of my words. No need to thank me for your rescue. Your drachmi is thanks enough. Me? Thank you? Here? With no audience? No, 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 my heroic friend. The stage is not set. Our performance is missing that most vital ingredient. An audience! Meet me by my personal statue, so we may continue. <laughs> we worship a little differently where I'm from. We don't kill a man for what he believes. We show respect. Respect is for the gods, not those who pretend to be them. The world is full of strife, yes, but also love. Embrace it. Embrace me. And I will personally introduce you to all my family. The gods! If being locked naked in a cell makes someone a god, the Pantheon would be overflowing. Maybe Embedocles is a god, maybe he's not. All I know is that he doesn't beat young men to death. I follow you proudly. Brothers, sisters of Githira, join me. You think betraying Aphrodite will go unpunished? You may not believe in my godliness, Mystios, but I believe. There's some god in you, and that we can put to use. Even a god won't work for free. Of course. 
What else would I spend my drachmi on? Clothes? Clothes would do you some good. You're just scared of my true form. But there's another matter we need to discuss. I'll help you. How often do you get to help a god? Of my caliber? Never. Come, my well-muscled friend. There is much to discuss. But first... So you're not the god of getting to the point. The likeness is terrifyingly good, don't you think? Terrifying, yes. What did you need? A god never needs help. But yes, please. I've been having trouble with my brothers and sisters. The gods? Family problems. When I first arrived on Kithira, I was imprisoned for my beliefs. They stole my purple robe, and inside it is a very special disc. The key to my family estate. And you want this disc retrieved? Of course. The disc is a key. A key that opens a door to the gods themselves. This disc must be returned to me. You said this robe thief intercepted you at the dock. Do you know where he is now? He and his guards patrol along Kithera's main roads. But he enjoys roughing up recent arrivals. The gods would protect themselves with more than a locked door opened by a disc. Oh, but you should see the door, Mistyos. Something so beautiful was not crafted by mortal hands. And my brothers, my sisters, I hear them calling me home from beyond it. What are your godly brothers and sisters really like, Embedocles? As any sibling loving, filled with strife. They once caught me eating lamb and cast me out. Though, between you and me, that lamb... Mm. Worth it. Gods wait for no one. Patience is not one of our virtues, no. Will you help? This disc sounds important. I'll find the man who stole it and return it to you. <clears throat> we must hurry! Found him. The confidence! If I didn't know better, I'd say there were two gods on Kithera. I found your disc. Praise me! Clearly, I have worked through you. Clearly. Time to meet the gods, then? I'd love to introduce you to my family. Of course, if you're ready to join me. This should be interesting. That, my dear Mistyos, I can absolutely guarantee. A moment, please, while I address my audience. Rejoice! For I, your humble god, shall introduce you to my brothers and sisters. Athena awaits you! Ares demands your audience! That's a big promise. You doubt me? I don't doubt the joy you've brought your followers. Their loyalty will be rewarded, as will yours. We set sail for the Gulf of Corinth, and all the secrets she veils. Meet us there, and see the truth for yourself. And meet your siblings? Wouldn't miss it. Now. <sighs> 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 